Today we're going to look at two tools, Perplexity and NeuronWriter. We're going to use them in combination with each other to create SEO content that ranks. Before we get started, Perplexity is completely free to use. NeuronWriter is a paid tool. That said, it's not required that you use NeuronWriter to complete this workflow. You could use Perplexity alone. However, uh, NeuronWriter really allows you to maximize your SEO quality. This will make more sense as we get into it. I use NeuronWriter to get the maximum impact from my content. First, let's talk about what Perplexity is. It's a chatbot style search engine that uses AI technology to gather information and provide answers in natural language. It tries to understand your intent and it engages in a back and forth type of a conversation to clarify what you're looking for and then generate useful responses. In some ways, it's very similar to ChatGPT. However, there are a few key areas where it's different and in my opinion, superior. The first is that it verifies all of its answers or its responses to you. So if you ask it a question, it will give you the answer and then it tells you exactly where it sourced this data. This is fantastic because you can actually check these sources, make sure they're reputable and correct. This is one of the major differences with ChatGPT because ChatGPT doesn't provide you with all of its sources. The next difference between Perplexity and ChatGPT is the ability for Perplexity to focus on specific sources. It defaults to searching the entire internet when it's um, answering your questions, but you can also make it focus on academic writing. You can have it just write responses without searching the web. You can have it focus on Reddit, uh, YouTube, and Wolfram. What's great about this is that ChatGPT doesn't allow you to focus in these ways and search the internet unless you're using a premium service. Whereas Perplexity lets you do this right off the bat and it's free. Next, the next key difference between Perplexity and ChatGPT is that for every query that you run, it gives you three related searches. This is a great way to include relevant questions in your content that you might not even have been thinking about that are directly related to searches people are doing around this topic. And you can really dive deep into a subject by just expanding on these related natural language processing terms. This is a great way to build, for example, FAQ sections or drilling down deep into your topical authority on specific subjects. Next, let's quickly look at NeuronWriter. NeuronWriter is also an AI tool that uses AI and natural language processing to optimize your writing for SEO and to improve your content readability. You start with your keyword topic, enter it into Neuron, and it creates a custom SEO plan for your article using suggested words and phrases found from top ranking competitors in Google. In addition to NLP terms, it looks at the top 30 results in Google. It looks at their, the structure of their articles, the questions that they answer. It takes all of this data and it gives you really specific recommendations on how to improve and optimize your content so that you can rank better than your competitors. Setting up Perplexity is really easy. You simply go to the website, perplexity.ai, sign up, and you can do it with your Gmail account, your Apple ID, or just an email. In terms of a NeuronWriter, there is a free trial, so you can test it out. There's also subscription-based plans if you prefer to do monthly or yearly. There's also an AppSumo deal where you can get lifetime access to NeuronWriter for one, a one-time payment. This is the option that I chose because uh, I like that it simplifies everything for you. Let's get started with our SEO workflow. We're going to write an article on how to choose the best sneakers for long distance running. And this article is going to be informative and also promote affiliate products. First, we want to go to NeuronWriter and we want to generate a list of specific keywords to use in our article. So we're going to launch a new query within an existing project and we're going to just type out our topic. We're going to have NeuronWriter start the process of building an SEO plan for this topic. This takes a few moments to complete. Right now, it's scanning the top results on Google for this specific topic. Now the scan is complete and it has a list of articles that are all ranking within the first two pages on Google for this topic. Everything that is in green means that this is a well-optimized article. When selecting the articles that you want NeuronWriter to include in your SEO plan, I like to focus on articles that have scores that are in the green versus scores that are in the orange or red, which basically means that they are not as optimized as they could be. 
I typically leave whatever neuron defaults to, I leave that as is, but when I'm adding articles, I focus on articles that have pretty decent SEO scores. Now, this is our Neuron Writer content editor. This is where I'm going to be building this article. If you're not using Neuron Writer, you can just use uh, Google Doc or whatever other tool that you use. And what you find here is this is our main content space. But over here are a number of different recommendations that Neuron, Ride, Neuron Writer has for us based on the research it's done on other top ranking articles. But the first important area to look at are terms. These are natural language processing terms that it's found in other articles that it recommends you use in your article. And it tells you exactly how many times you should use a term based on what it sees in other articles. And this is the terms in your article, so your body content, but it also gives you recommendations for terms you should use in your headings. In addition to that, there's uh, several other sections here. This one, outline. This shows you the, st the structure that it's seeing in your competitor articles. And by structure, it's showing you H3, H2, H4 headers. This shows you how your competitors have organized their articles into different sections. It also gives you what's called smart headings. These are some heading ideas that you could use. And you can just click this arrow and it puts it directly into your uh, content area. It also has a questions section, which is taken from Google's People Also Ask. Okay, there's an, basically a number of AI writing templates and tools that you can use. This is similar to other AI writers. There's also a media section. If you want to include specific videos or stock images, you can use NeuroWriter to help you source that. But we are going to focus on the, these different terms. We're going to create a list and I just have like a little notepad open here. I'm going to have two groups, headers, and I'm going to copy over the H2 and H3 headers. You just click this little copy button and then I'm going to put them here in my notepad. And the next section is going to be body text. I'm going to copy my basic list of terms and my extended list of terms into this notepad. I have everything here in two lists. Next step is we need to generate an outline. Neuron Writer does have the ability to generate outlines, but I want to use perplexity for this. We're going to start with a prompt. And we're going to tell perplexity to create a detailed outline for an article on how to choose the best shoes for long distance running, sprinkle the NLP terms below throughout the paragraph headers. We're going to go back over to our WordPad list and we're gonna just copy these header terms that we wanna include. And now we're going to click this screen button here and Neuron Writer will build an outline for us. If you don't use Neuron Writer, you can ask Perplexity to provide you with a list of NLP terms. It won't be as comprehensive as Neuron Writer, but it's still you know, better than not using them at all. So you can see here, this is our outline for our article, and we're gonna now copy this over into Neuron Writer. So now we're gonna have perplexity write each of these sections. We're gonna start with the introduction, and we're just gonna say, simply write the introduction, and okay, so we, our prompt is write the introduction to briefly introduce the importance of choosing the right shoes for long distance running, and highlight the impact of running shoes on the performance and injury prevention. And I just, first part, I'm telling you to use markdown format, short paragraphs, bullet lists, and sprinkle the NLP terms below throughout. So I just copied a few NLP terms because we have a lot to cover and I don't want to overwhelm it. So I'm just including a few of these terms and now I'm going to click this button. Okay, so Perplexity just gave us the response. Now keep in mind, we're going to tweak this format a little bit because it's not in a traditional paragraph like a, the traditional style say like a chat GPT would do but what's good is that it's really direct in its responses it's sourcing it from very specific areas that are ranking well for this topic and it's also including our NLP terms and so we're going to tweak this a little bit later just to make it a bit more like a traditional introduction but one other thing that we want to do is every time we do a query it's going to be three related questions at the bottom I'm going to take notes on these and just keep a record of them because at the end of the article, these will be useful to include in like a FAQ section or additional sections of this article that maybe we didn't cover. To generate the content and perplexity, I bring it over to Nuon Writer and I copy and paste. You can also copy and paste into a Google Doc. And I'm just gonna work through the entire article and I'm just going to have perplexity answer the questions in each of the sections of my outline.
And within each section, I'm also going to remind it to use specific L and LP terms. Also, you're going to get a list of citations for each section that you generate in Perplexity. Copy that over, keep it at the bottom of each section, and we'll come back to it later. There's a little bit of extra information that we need to remove from what we copied from Perplexity. We don't need this first sentence. It's providing you this content in a markdown format. So what you can do so that it converts it from markdown into visual into HTML is you can use a free co convert markdown to HTML right here. And you just paste the content and then it provides it for you um, in the way that you want. So got a clean editor. And so I'm just going to copy this over back into Neuron Writer. So now I have it in a much better format. So it's visually looking the way that I want. And at the bottom, whenever you copy content from Perplexity, it gives you its citations. So it tells you exactly where it's pulling um, its information as we discussed before. I like to leave this at the bottom until the end because some of these will be good high authority links that I wanna actually include in my content. So it's helping me build this list of citations that will be really helpful to link from in my article and also improve my SEO. But if you're using Neuron Writer, you'll notice that once we pasted, copied and pasted this content, this number here changed from zero and now it's at 24. This is an SEO scoring, a real-time scoring, and this is telling me how optimized this article is in comparison to the top ranking articles for this subject. This tiny number here is the highest of all selected competitors. In this space, the article that has the highest content optimization is ranked at 63. And it also tells you what the top 10 median rank is and nine of the top 30 median rank. My goal is to get this score to be at least higher than this small number here. It also is giving you a number of different recommendations. So it's telling you in your title, your headings, your terms, your, you know, the, the body content, um, the occurrence of these recommended terms in your content. It's telling you, okay, you've achieved 32% of what we think you should have in your overall terms. In your headings, you've achieved 20% in terms of including these specific keywords and phrases. And it tells you exactly how many times specific phrases have been included and it tells you also once you are hitting maybe too many occurrences of a specific keyword phrase. So this is really helpful. This helps you understand how, how optimized your content actually is. I'd like to use this as a benchmark to ensure that I'm creating high quality content. Also remember when you copy your content from Perplexity by clicking this little copy button down here and you paste it in Neuron Writer or your text editor, it's going to be pasted in Markdown format. So just copy that over to your free Markdown converter and it'll give it to you in a nicely formatted. I've completed generating content in Perplexity and I've copied everything over into Neuron Writer and I'm at a score of about 44 and I haven't done anything except for copy and paste. The next area I'm gonna focus on is my meta description and my title and my meta description for this article. I'm gonna click this space and Neuron Writer will automatically generate this for us. And again, it's going to be using our competitor's meta information as a basis. So you just click this little wand and it will generate a title for you. And you can see it's including the specific keywords based on what competitors are doing. And you can do the same thing with the description. And obviously if you want to tweak this or modify it, you can and save and close and it automatically applies to your article. So now we've officially written an article that is more optimized than the top ranking article in Google. We have an SEO score of 64. The top ranking article has an SEO score of 63. And we are not you know, even finished modifying this article. An important thing to know about um, perplexity is that as it's generating responses for you, I found that sometimes it's actually pulling directly from its source material. And in order to make sure that you're not plagiarizing anything, what I do is after I get the core information from Perplexity, I'll go through the information, tweak it, do some editing. I also want to give it my own voice and basically just modifying it um, to make sure that nothing is being directly copied. I also run it through a plagiari uh, plagiarism checker just to make sure that everything is authentic and again has my voice. So next we're going to use some of these citations that we've gotten from Perplexity and we're going to link these to specific keywords throughout the article. 
This helps build your, ex your e e e a t, so your expertise and your authority in your writing because you're linking to articles that are ranking very well for this specific topic. Well, this is an article about running shoes. I'm going to link it to a long distance running shoe. It's related. You can give it a title if you want. It's a new window. And you can just go through your article and link your citation to keywords where it makes sense. Well, this is an article about running shoes. So I'm going to link it. You could also make one long list of resources at the bottom of your article and you could leave these links in if you want it to have kind of like a Wikipedia style resource list. That's also an option. Next, so I made a list of these related queries that um, Perplexity provided. And this you can use to create like an FAQ section. You could also use it as section headers within your content. So what are the benefits of choosing the right running shoe for long distance running? There's a the section here that this type of heading would be relevant. You could just copy and paste to make this like an H2 heading. And this is addressing a specific query that people are searching for. But you could also include all of these questions at the end of your article in an FAQ section. Somewhere before your conclusion, you could say FAQs, you can paste these, and you can also use perplexity to answer these questions. You can make these like H3 headers, and then you can have perplexity answer each one, and it will give you responses, which you might want to tweak them, maybe edit them down a little bit. And you can just go through this process of building your FAQ section using questions that people are searching for. The last important uh, thing to do in this workflow is now that we have our article, we want to include our affiliate links in here. So we want to have a section of our recommendations for the best long distance running shoes. Wherever you want to put that, maybe you want to put it uh, at the top. So you can say the top 10 best selling long distance running shoes. And you're going to take this header, bring it over to per Perplexity and ask it that question. And this is one of my favorite features of Perplexity. It can look at trends and data so that it can tell you what the top 10 best selling running shoes are. So you can take that, put this back to your article. And if you have an affiliate relationship with like Avent Link or Amazon Associates, you can link each of these shoes directly to whatever your affiliate relationship is. You can include images if you want to. This is really powerful because again, you're taking relevant and recent data and you're using that to build a very powerful affiliate and article that's also very informative. So I hope this has been helpful. I will have a link in this video description to a guide in Google Docs, totally free with all of this information because I know it's a lot. I'll have links to all of these tools. I have the prompts that I use. Check the video description for a link to that Google Doc and have fun. I know you will love Perplexity as much as I do. It's an amazing tool. And please leave comments if anybody has experience using this or just tell me how it went for you. Thanks for watching.